Hi folks, Chris here coming to you from the Smuggler's Cargo Hold. Uh, we're in a different room of the Cargo Hold actually, not doing it from my uh, regular location. We're doing it from my Lego room today as you can see in the back. I've got a few Lego sets. It is quite a mess in here currently because I decided that uh, two days before getting my sail barge would be a good idea to start working on the Ultimate Collector Series LEGO Millennium Falcon. So it's a bit of a mess. So you'll have to bear with me while I muddle around in here. Going to be doing a review today of the Jabba's Sail Barge. Uh, pretty damn awesome. Waited over a year now. Uh, had two heart issues over the last year, so I actually was concerned that I might not actually live to see it delivered and set up. So dropping 70 pounds and three shirt sizes and 16 inches off my waist, I figured uh, they gave me a pretty good fighting chance to actually get to see this thing here when it showed up. So it did show up. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do a review of some of the things I like and don't like. Uh, a lot of action figures to put into it. Uh, I've only got a few so far, my personal preferences and such. And I'll show you everything that it came in. So if you'll follow me here, we're going to take a look at the packaging it came in. And it's rather large. It is the size of like a coffin for a adolescent. So it is right here. You can see it. I'll actually turn it like so. Uh, it is rather big. Uh, there's literally you could s stand next to it and that's it right there. I'm five eight and a half and it comes up to almost my shoulders. So it is a beautiful box. I'm sure you've seen many pictures of it on the internet. We'll just take a quick glance here. Show everybody the box. It's very nice. Uh, as I'm trying to get used to the camera here in this angle. So it came in a double shipper, of course. Very nice. Protected it. Uh, both, uh, I, the, both boxes on mine, though, had the dent damage. There was one dent that went through, but did not actually damage the packaging here itself. Uh, I it broke through both of the shippers, but it didn't do any sort of damage to the box, so the box is in good condition. Uh, open it up. It opens up so that you have to take it uh, multiple places. There's no tape or anything like that. So you just have the flaps that you just pop apart. And it came in two large, or sorry, three large uh, styrofoam pieces here. And there was one on each end, and then there is this one that actually was in the middle holding it together, and then the smaller parts all came in this box here. Uh, had two sets of plastic in it that had uh, the parts, the sails, and such like that. Um, this is very important read it. Don't just, don't read, you know, oh, I'm going to be like a man or I'm just going to put it together without using any like instructions or anything because I'm a dude. Read it. So, after you get it all unboxed, you've got the basic shell, okay, and you have what are all of the spare smaller pieces right here. The sails, had to be unrolled and they had a section in them that is like uh, almost like a skeletal frame as you can see it here. Uh, pieces were added out of various sections. Uh, I believe this had one, two, three, four, five separate pieces to it. Five separate pieces. Uh, so each one very afraid of breaking them. I've never been very good at putting uh, play sets together without uh, breaking them or breaking a piece somewhere or something like that. So I was extra careful with a lot of this. 
only pieces that I had issue with uh, staying and, and, and not worrying about, but worrying about busting were these sections here. These braces, these V braces connect to the top here and then one goes into uh, the side of the sail barge right there. Uh, they don't wish to stay in all the way, some of them, because of how taut uh, the sails are. So I was a little concerned about that, uh, but I did get them in. Uh, pieces for the legs, of course, are clear so that they, it gives you the illusion that the uh, barge is, of course, floating. Uh, there were gun, two guns, came with it, two uh, deck guns. You've got one there, and then you have one over here, and they are very nicely detailed. Uh, one piece that you don't have to put them together. Unlike the one that I believe came, I think it came with Nikto, or it came with one of the, uh, I think it's a Black Series figure, I might be wrong. This gun does not look anything really like the ones that came with the barge. It's smaller, uh, there's more pieces to it. And it does not fit for, per se on the railing. The railing, this has a clip piece to it that of course fits right there. However, where you see the big, the new guns, those guns fit into a notch on the rail uh, and they pop right and they swivel back uh, left and right. So I wish they had come with more. There are three or four extra slots here where they're missing uh, they could be using the guns I wish they would have maybe had an accessory pack maybe that um, you could have bought extra guns or something like that uh, gonna take a look at the big deck gun the deck gun is really cool uh, you can see it there fairly well or I'll bring you sorry over here to see it it swivels, it turns, it does all that jazz. Uh, beautiful Art Deco to it. Uh, I actually like the one that came with the Power of the Jedi Leia more. Uh, I think it was better in size. Not as detailed, but just, you can see it right there. That came with uh, the Slave Leia figure. I just think it was better detailed. I mean, it looked nicer, it's bigger. I mean, it looked like a pretty large gun. From what I saw in the film, maybe I'm wrong. It this just seems a little small. So you put the gun in, get the side guns in, put the sails on. Uh, another piece that I wasn't too, too happy about were these uh, the instruction booklet. I believe called them uh, antennas. I think. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the instruction booklet right here. It is pretty nice, very easy to understand and read. But these little sections, these, what I call these little, uh, they say they call them antennas, but I don't know if I buy that or not. They almost look like little anchors or something. And, you know, you can see it in the book here where they talk about it. Very thin plastic. I was really concerned about breaking that I didn't want to have an issue where I broke something, of course, you know, being all paranoid and crap about it, but there are three of them. There's one that goes underneath in the middle, and there's one on each side of the barge. Don't know if you can see that there. So once you got those in, you get the barge, uh, get the uh, top done, get the fins put on. Each side has fins. These are the fins right here, and a little bit of movement to them, but not a lot. Uh, again, very tiny little notches that go at the top here. I was very concerned about breaking them. Uh, if this was bought for a child, if you got this for a kid, I would really recommend an adult help uh, put this together because breakage is very, very possible with this. Um, and then, of course, you have all the uh, little uh, mysteries inside, side panels, things like that. Um, I would like to talk about a few of the things that I am not overly happy with. I really thought it would be bigger. 
Never thought I'd ever hear myself say that. I was expecting with the box it came in to be a little bit larger, but you know, pretty damn nice if you ask me. Uh, the actual set itself, the construction, the, 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 the attention to detail is just, it's absolutely shocking what they've gone through here. I've never seen anything like this. It's, it's absolutely stupendous. This blows away, I think, any playset that they have put out uh, in the 30-some, almost 40 years of, Jesus, it's been 40 years, uh, of Star Wars figures. And that's actually a pinnacle that I actually thought that they had really achieved with uh, the uh, Royal Naboo Starship that had great playability to it for a really boring movie. Um, I'm going to take you a few a little features here on the inside, of course. And you can see that I've got a few of the figures already put together in here or added. Uh, I've got Regis and Bib Fortuna there. Uh, of course, we have Jabba the Hutt himself. And he does come with two chains. I believe they're meant for prisoners, but it really goes good with the Slave Leia. Uh, the Slave Leia, of course, you can put the collar around her if you want. Uh, get a little s &M action happening. They're nice. They're actual metal chains. They're not cheap plastic or anything like that. Uh, I've got the, a man a man back there. I've got the R2-D2 here with his drinks and a potsnitkin. Uh, my version of Salacious Crumb might not be the best one, but I think it's the most adorable. Uh, he is a standing version, however. This is not a sitting version. It would be nice to have a sitting version that could maybe sit up here on the throne with him. Uh, but I like that one. The other, another good version that you have is probably the uh, one that came with the uh, C-3PO figure where uh, he's got the green uh, ooze on him. Uh, the job is pretty cool. I'm not seeing much of a difference in this job, though, compared to the one that is in the Toys R Us exclusive pack that came out uh, years ago, the Black Series pack. Uh... Good detail, but very limited mobility. I really would have liked maybe some more mobility, maybe with the tail, uh, the arms a little bit more. Uh, and I just don't think the coloring is right. I really don't. I think the coloring needed to be a little bit more in the area of orangish than green, because this looks more like the job of the hut from the special edition New Hope rather than the job of the hut that was part of Return of the Jedi. So I'm going to take a look at the figures that I've got for it. Now, I am a very uh, uh, a cynic, if you will, of Hasbro. I feel that since the end of the Legacy Collection Clone Wars that the figures have just totally gone downhill. And in all honesty, the I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know if it's Disney, Lucasfilm, Hasbro themselves. Don't know. Don't care. I think quality is off. And quite frankly, so is size. Uh, I like the bigger figures. I like ones that actually, not not muscle. I don't, I don't need steroid Luke. I don't need uh, drooping face Han Solo. I don't need Chewbacca that looks like he's on his way to a Mr. Olympia co uh, competition. But I want figures that are three and three quarter inch. Maybe a little bigger. That ain't so difficult. This is the Black Series Luke Jedi figure that I picked up that I thought would be the best one seeing as how he's got the lightsaber, he's got the proper outfit and such. And um, I'm, I'm sorry, this is a tiny little figure. I mean, if you stand him next to Bib Fortuna here, and I'll give you the size reference, you can clearly see that Luke is way shorter than Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna looks like Andre the Giant next to him. And I think that's where some of the quality control has gone. Uh, this is a, you know, it is a 
three and three quarter inch action figure. It is not a three inch, it is not a three and a half, it is not three and a quarter, three and three quarter inch, and that is what the scale is. And even when you compare the original Slave Leia that came out of the Power of the Force series compared to the one that we have here, uh, she's very, very short. I understand that Carrie Fisher herself was not a tall woman. You know, she was five something, but this just makes her look like, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I was very, very uh, just pull, torn by these things. It's like, I like the quality, but I need the, the figure to be better. I need it to be taller. And it just isn't. So finding the right kind of figures to put in this are going to be difficult. So for now, I'm going to stick with this Luke even though that there are other figures that are other versions that might be better, I'm going to have to check it out. Uh, everyone might be thinking that there are better versions of the Bib Fortuna. I like that Bib Fortuna. I think that the the detail is there. I think it's got a nice look to it. Little bulky, but you know, Bib Fortuna was a little bit of a bulky. I mean, plus those robes are bulky. I'm not one of those people that has to have cloth clothing on everybody and have it all totally look like it is literally, you know, half a step away from being real miniature people. It does not need to be like that. So it's okay for my figures to have the plastic outfits. Um, so I'm happy with that Bib Fortuna. Reese, I actually like this one. This is the Power of the Force series. Oops. Power of the Force series uh, Reyes. This is the one that came with the freeze frame, I want to say back in 99 or 98. Uh, I think it's got good teal. Only problem is, uh, is standing. Uh, is a little difficult to stand up. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. So, yes, I do like the... And we're back. Technical issues. I have very limited knowledge and uh, experience using these phones and stands and stuff. So you'll have to excuse me there. Back to what I was saying. Happy with this Regis. Power the Force. Don't, if, if you're not looking for the super, super detail, don't spend 40, 50, 60 bucks, even more maybe on the Black Series Regis. The, for my opinion, the one that came from the green uh, card series with the freeze frame is just fine. Uh, the Slave Leia, I already covered that. This one is the one that came with the vintage carded collection that was the Sandstorm Leia. I did not get the one with the sitting position because on the barge, if I remember correctly, she wasn't sitting that much. She was just, she was doing a lot of standing because she was looking outside at what was going on. So I went with that one. That one with Volvers is actually a little bit cheaper than the one that is actual the Slay actual one that came with the different uh, base part, the different legs, whether it was uh, kneeling or standing. That one could probably run you a lot more money than just this one here. Uh, or you could just go ahead and get the Power of the Force green carded one, which I actually thought was a decent figure too. Uh, I've got an, a Man of Man back there. That version is the Power of the Jedi one. Uh, I'm not going to take him out because he's actually in there pretty good and he's got his staff and everything. He's the one that came with the Salacious Crump. I actually picked him up, uh, I want to say on eBay for like, I think maybe $15. So you knocked out two birds at one stone. You got a man of man and you got a Salacious Crump. Uh, again, if you don't want to have to spend a boatload of dough, the gold card, the gold saga collection on the blue card made a really nice R2D2 with the drinks and such like that and everything for when he's acting as a bartender on the uh, katana which is the sail barge uh, only problem i have with this figure is that the drink thing doesn't lock in or anything like that so you just sort of have to balance it uh pote snitkin of course i'm unaware if they made more than one version of him this of course is again from the freeze frame collection of the green cards pote snitkin uh, added him here uh this one i'm sure is up to debate it's Boba Fett. There are so many versions of him. And I actually bought this one. I had never actually opened this version of Boba Fett before. It's from the uh, Blue Carded Saga collection. And I actually thought he would be higher elevated with the flames than he is. And I'm a little disappointed in that. So I'm actually probably going to be looking at a different Boba Fett. I also don't like the fact that it's got some sort of weird where you press the rocket down in the back and his 
arms go up and down. We. Oui. Um, but for now, it's just going to have to do. I mean, it's a cool idea. It's just the posability on it's terrible. The way the base is terrible. It really should have had him more heading forward and outward rather than almost like backing up. Uh, and of course, I have also got a another figure here. This is, I, I believe, this is Klaatu. I'm I'm a diehard Star Wars nerd, and I don't remember the name of this figure off the bat, which is really sad. So I've just got him up here, and he is actually from the vintage collection. Uh, I have the Power of the Force Tatooine skiff, uh, the one that came out Power of the Jedi. Uh, managed to get that on eBay for under a hundred dollars. I have really no desire to wait until July, August, September, or whenever the hell it's going to be that the new one comes out. And I know it's going to be a little bit better. I mean, I'll have one just to keep it in the box. But this one right here, as you can see, the Power of the Jedi version, Tatooine Skiff, comes with a Luke Skywalker, and it's just, it's a terrible Luke Skywalker. It really is. I don't know if you can see the detail there. His face is terrible, the outfit's terrible, the posability's terrible. Um, but the skiff, it's it's pretty much the skiff from the Power of the Force line in 85. It's just in a different package. It doesn't have the deco that the new one's going to have or whatever, and I know the new one's only 40 bucks, but in all honesty, I, I don't want to wait. So I got that, and I'm going to be setting that up. Uh, once I have that set up, I'll add different figures to that one. Of course, I'm going to add a Luke. I've got a green carded Weakway. And I know it would have been nice to have a vintage collection Weakway. But, yeah, I got I got this for like $3. And $3 against $40, $50 carded one that I'm going to open anyway. And I know I could probably find a loose one. But even then, $20, $30. You know, but again, it's like, I like the size of these. I like these bigger figures. I don't like these, because look at him. Luke looks like a little dwarf next to him. He's huge. So, you know, I would just rather have these. I've already spent 400 some dollars on this. I'm already spending a bunch load on getting figures, because I don't, I haven't opened figures in a long time. So... I'm just looking at cost and everything being, you know, cost of, you know, cost uh, proactive. There are figures that I just think didn't look right. Like the version I have of Lando Calrissian is from, I think this is the original trilogy collection version of him. Do you can see there, removable helmet and such. Might be Saga collection, I'm not sure. But good detail, nice figure. I don't need to be... You know, everybody's scrambling to get that new one uh, from Walmart, and, you know, this one's just fine. It's probably going to be pretty much the same mold anyway. All in all, I give this sucker an easy B+. Not an A because of the fragile issues that I noticed, the sections with the guns that I really think it needed to have more of, uh, and just a little bit easier access. I would have really liked to have seen more playability on the other side i would have liked more uh i would have liked more things available when this thing came out you're gonna have the skiff come out early march but then we're gonna wait till may or june or maybe even july in some places and possibly even august for the skiff you've got the vintage collection figures which actually aren't even out yet like yak face and stuff like that those aren't even out in most places. You have mine, you know, pre-ordered from Hasbro Pulse, which is a different video. I'll talk about that later. And it just, like, why wouldn't you have all of this ready to go? The day these were issued, it started being shipped a few days ago, should have had a release date in stores. They should have had pegs of yak faces and Bouch Leia's and stuff like that. The the, the freaking uh, exclusive that's going to be coming to Walmart with the Jabba's Dungeon and the carded Rees. Have it available. You know, this is like literally putting out a game system. And other than the game that it comes with, they're all going to be released four months later. 
You know, what, what, what the hell good is that? Have some games upon the release. Have some toys upon the release. So I really think Hasbro dropped the ball on this. I have a feeling that they never actually expected this to actually get made. I think because literally almost up until a week beforehand or probably a little bit longer than that, maybe a week and a half, they did not meet the goal. The goal had not been met yet. And then within just a day or two, it went past the goal and they were like, oh God, we're actually going to have to make this crap now. We just, you know, we've got everybody's money and we're going, getting going here. So I, I really think that there was a ball drop there. So that's why I'm giving this a B plus. If I explore more, like I haven't even looked at the cockpit, cockpit yet. I'm going to go look at that uh, soon. Oh, hang on one second. Threes. Can't do this video without taking a look at threes. Thankfully, mine is one of the ones that showed up intact. It's not popped on the top where the coin came out. Unfortunately, though, the coin is upside down. Uh, the figure is nice and firmly attached to the card. It is unpunched. It does have a crease on it, which I'm a little bummed out about. Uh, it does have a drinking cup and a staff. You can see it right there. I'm sorry for the glare. Very nice. Very nice. The card back is very similar. The combination of the original Power of the Force and the new vintage collection. You can see that it gives a description of the Yak Faces character. It gives you a picture. And of course you see Reyes right there. But then it talks about the coin at the bottom, which was similar to the original Power of the Force figures, where it described the coin and actually had like a mail away thing that you could send away and get more of them from. So very nice. I'm very happy to see that this uh, arrived undamaged. I The only Yak Face I've ever owned was uh, a loose, uh, AFA graded one, so this is actually, uh, you know, it makes you feel like you've actually got a vintage Power of the Force one without having to spend thousands of dollars. So that's that. Um, I will bring another video to you folks uh, as soon as I can. Uh, gonna go through this. I'd like to get the room cleaned up here because I actually have a giant mess of Star Wars bags and such because I am currently trying to build my Millennium Falcon, my Ultimate Collector Series that my wonderful wife was so kind to get me for Christmas. So, going to come at you again sometime soon with another video. Again, this is Chris, Jabba Sail Barge Review, uh, to be continued.